it's Chanel and I run a small handmade label called Rosary Apparel where I make clothing out of recycled fabrics such as tablecloths, bed sheets, curtains and remnants. This year for Rosary two of my goals are to share more content and to share more behind the scenes of what it's like to run a small handmade business. So I thought what better way to do that than to film a behind the brand video showing a little bit of my day to day life. It's currently Sunday the 6th of January. I've just had the most beautiful day with my friends. We went to a little town called Emdale, which is just a 15 minute drive from where I live. A little country town, there's a market there. So I went to the market first thing this morning and then ended up at the pub for lunch. And it was just such a beautiful day. These kind of days are my favorite. It wasn't really planned. It was just a spontaneous trip and it was just so nice. So I'll insert some footage of the day that we had now. Today I'm releasing something pretty huge over at rosaryapparel.com. For years I have had some sample dresses and just remaining dresses from past collections just hanging up in my sewing space that aren't really going anywhere, no one ever sees them. So I've decided that I'm going to sell those leftover dresses at a ridiculous price of $50 each. So here's a little look of the dresses that are going to be coming to rosaryapparel.com in the $50 sale. I'm not sure yet when this video will be going up and whether there'll be any of those dresses left or not, but I'll leave a link to them in the description below. So if you did want to check them out and buy yourself a dress, there will be a little link so you can have a look there. So for the rest of today, I'm going to be planning the February collection, which I'm going to be working on this week. I'm really excited about the fabrics that I've chosen for this collection and I can't wait to just start getting into them. So I'm going to plan exactly what I'm going to make and what sizes I'm going to make of each item so that come this week I can just get started and cut into them and make the new dresses which I'm really excited about. So here's the fabric that I'm going to be making the February collection out of. They're all made from recycled fabrics. <laughs> Um, I've got a day off from my day job today, so I've got a long list of rosary apparel to do um, to try and complete today. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed actually because I've got a lot of stuff I need to do. Starting with packaging the last remaining orders from the $50 dress sale that I had over on my website. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it's going actually. Everyone seems really excited about it and they've been selling like hotcakes, which is really nice. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is package up those orders and then go for a little walk to the post office. <laughs> So I've squeezed as many orders as I can into my basket and I'm going to head out to the post office now. So I'm back home from the post office now and I did pick up a magazine while I was there. I always love picking up magazines, I can't help it, it's just one of my things. Um, it's called Audrey, I'll show you. The prettiest cover. It's just a beautiful puzzle crossword lifestyle magazine and I absolutely love it. I highly recommend. Matt and I are actually going on a holiday to Queensland next week so that's why I picked it up because I can't think of anything better than doing a crossword on the beach. It's, yeah, really excited about it. I also decided to change up the little corner on my desk this morning. I'm really inspired by Jasmine Dowling at the moment. And I love how her aesthetic is real peachy pink tone. So I've kind of pulled from that a little bit to make this. This cute cross stitch is one that I made actually. Um, and the tutorial for it is coming to my blog. Soon, so 
keep an eye out for that one. My plant's not doing so well, but I've had it for a good three years, so I can't die now. I just think I might have overwatered it a little bit and then underwatered it. <laughs> but hopefully it'll be okay. The pot was from the op shop and this little print is by Gemma O'Brien. And the rest are just cute business cards and things I've collected over the years. I got some Camp Cove bathers for my Christmas present from Matt this year, which were wrapped in this beautiful native Australian eucalyptus print. Yeah, feeling very inspired now to sit here at my desk. So it's now Monday. I spent the rest of last week drafting up the pieces for the collection. It took a lot longer than I expected to get the designs perfect, so I am a little bit behind with what I was hoping to get done. I was hoping to have the whole February collection made and photographed before Matt and I go away on Friday, but Unfortunately, that's not going to happen anymore, so the February collection is more likely going to be the March collection now, which is fine, it's not ideal, but um, I guess that's one of the downsides to being a one-woman show. There are only so many hours in the day and I can't expect to get everything done sometimes, so yeah, I'm not going to beat myself up about it too much and the collection will be coming. I'm just sorry that there won't be any making process of it in this video, but don't worry because it will be coming up in a future video, so stay tuned for that. Yesterday while I was working in my day job, if for those of you who don't know, um, when I'm not working on Rosary Apparel, I work in Spotlight. I did have to find a really nice new fabric that I couldn't help but pick up. It's this one here. Such a beautiful lightweight rayon fabric with the most cute poppy design on it. And a beautiful rusty burnt orange colour, burnt peach almost. Stunning, I love it. So, because we're going away on Friday um, and it's my last day off before then, I decided I'm going to spend the day making myself a skirt. I'm currently really obsessed with like big, gathered, to the floor type skirts, and I'm hoping to turn this fabric into one of those skirts so I can wear it on my holiday. I did quickly whip up one this morning just before I start cutting into the good fabric. I did want to have a little practice, so. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, it's just like with like a cute little waistband and then full gathered skirt. Just kind of obsessed with it. With a white t-shirt, I think it's going to look really nice. Hopefully this skirt will turn out just as nice. So I guess today I'm just going to show how I go about making it. Um, a few time lapses of me making it and then the finished product. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching along. So here's the finished skirt. I'm so happy with how this one turned out. It's exactly what I wanted, so I'm really happy about that. And I can tell it will be one that I'll wear for many years to come. I just love the colour and the fit of it so much. And yeah, really happy with how it turned out. This potentially will be something that I might bring out to Rosary Apparel. So if you like the look of it and would like me to make some for Rosary, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And if enough people say they want them, then I will definitely make some for rosaryapparel.com. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the behind the scenes of the making process of this skirt. It's a beautiful day today, so I think I might spend the rest of the afternoon outside under my umbrella with a nice drink and a book. 
So I guess that's the end of this video. I hope you really enjoyed seeing a little bit of the behind the scenes of Rosary Apparel. Obviously, I haven't done anything like this ever before, so any feedback would be really nice. I hope to make some more videos just like this one as soon as I'm back from holiday. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Rosary Apparel. So yeah, thanks for watching.